Hi, it's Tybug. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I've been doing a lot of makeup and gaming videos recently and I haven't really talked about products in a while. It's not really something I like to do because I feel bad sometimes when I don't have like a good review on it. But this time I'm talking about everything that I have been using on a daily or almost a daily basis that is pretty new to me. As far as new goes, I would say either um, six months to two months because I wanted to really give these all like a fair chance to, like see how they really worked and like to see if I like them and like these are things that I like so much that have become part of my new routine and like have replaced things that have been my old favorites. So I think to start off, I'm going to start with makeup because that I feel like is popular, more popular on my channel and I don't really wear makeup every single day but it's like it's pretty big in my life right now. This Kosas concealer here. This concealer has changed my life, I think. I, I, let me, I don't know how to describe this concealer. I just love it. It's, it's so lightweight and skin-like, and, but like, it covers my imperfections. Like, I have a breakout right here, and you can barely see it. Like, it still looks like my skin. It still looks nice and glowy, and like, this has skincare properties in it, and like, I blind bought this without even sampling like the color and it matches my skin so well and I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't use foundation anymore, I barely use foundation anyways, but like I can do like just a dot of this and spread it all over the areas I want and then like it blends out seamless, seam, seamlessly into the rest of my skin so it doesn't look like I have patches of makeup where I don't. I, if you need a concealer and you want like skin like, a skin like look get this this concealer I've heard runs a little bit warm but it's amazing it's amazing try it out if you don't get your right color the first time maybe get another one because this is so good you should really give it a try I use this every single time I need to do my makeup or just when I need to cover something up I use this a lot for auditions too and that's really great for auditions okay next thing I talked about this in my Sephora haul around the Black Friday, and I didn't think it was that great. And now I use it all the time. I use this more than my, my cat compact that I talked about in my everyday makeup routine. This, if you are a content creator or you do a lot of stuff on camera, this is a godsend. This is the Kosas pillowy cloud this is cloud set Kosas cloud set and pillowy i'm sorry i get so excited about Kosas right now because they are killing it in my routine this i don't know what it is about this but this blurs your skin so beautifully on camera like if your camera doesn't have a natural blurring filter on like phone cameras on it is amazing and this has like a really good like shade range so like you don't have to get like a translucent or a deep you can get like something in between so it matches better this i love it oh i got makeup on it i love it so much i mean it has a lot of fallout so when you're using it get like a dense brush and stamp it in there and stamp it onto your skin you don't want to swirl it around swirl it on your skin you gotta like stamp it because otherwise you'll lose a lot of product that's the only downside about this is i feel like you lose a lot of products on it but it it is amazing on camera. In person, it's like a powder. It's fine. That's like That was like my big thing about it. It's like, oh, it's just a powder. This. This. I swear. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it looks so good on camera. Absolutely amazing. And like it doesn't make your skin feel like it sucked all the moisture out. It feels, it just like, it just, it's like a nice blanket on your skin. It's like a pillow. I love it. I love it. Next is this P. Louise base in white. I rave about this all the time in my Discord, well not my Discord, in a Discord group I'm in and like whenever I'm talking about makeup because before I'd had such a hard time getting like color payoff in my makeup products or just like feeling like my makeup palettes aren't that great because I can't get the right colors. This has made all my problems go away. There is one problem with this though is sometimes it separates so it gets kind of like oily on, and I have to like mix it up so I get like the right white cream, but it's still such a great base I haven't tried any of the dupes for this, but I love this. This is like $15, but this is such a great base Okay, next are these three lip products and these are like my favorite combinations. So first let's talk about this ColourPop Just a Tint 
um, lip crayon. It is in the shade Maui Wowie. It kind of smells like guava. It more like a kind of like a spoiled guava if you know like what fresh guava smells like once you like cracked it open. This smells like artificial guava, like what somebody thinks a guava smells like. But it's still a pretty good smell, but I, I definitely smell like the, oh, somebody's been hiking and there are guavas on the ground and they've stepped on the guavas. <laughs> but this is a beautiful lip tint. It kind of like stains your lips. I think it's meant to stain your lips, but it's great. It's so subtle, but it's like my lips, but better. I love it. And when I pair it with this Tower 28 Lip Jelly in Coconut, whoop, I feel like the queen of the world. The absolute queen of the world with this lip combination. Like this is my favorite lip combination right now. I use it all the time. All the time. Actually, you can kind of see how much I've used. Can you see that? It's like this much, this much. I didn't think I'd use that much of this lip gloss. Like I usually never get down in lip glosses. And then the next lip combination I really like is this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, I thought this was the Pillow Talk one, but this is actually Bond Girl. So this is something I got a long time ago in one of the Sephora lip sets. My best friend got this for me for Christmas a while ago. And I don't know what it is about Charlotte Tilbury, but their packaging is amazing. Like I love the rose gold kind of theming. And this lip color, I just, I love it so much. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like I use it in so many of my photos. I, I'll show examples. I used it in my Ayaka makeup look. I used it in my Venti makeup look. I used it in my um, Eula makeup look. I used it in my Pride makeup look. I've used it in this makeup look. I've used it in so many of my makeup looks. It's my favorite lipstick by far. And then when I pair it with this lip gloss, it just makes it so much better. It's so juicy, it looks so fresh, it looks so youthful. And this lip gloss especially, if you like have kind of like textured lips, like you have the lines in your lips and like just using chapstick or a lip scrub doesn't get rid of it, this lip gloss makes your lips look absolutely flawless. Like you know those photos on Instagram, and you're like, those are obviously, those are obviously edited. This gives you that edited look. This makes your lips so freaking smooth. It's like a, I don't want to say a baby's butt, but it's so freaking smooth. It's like a, it's like a rock in a pond, a rock in a stream. That's how smooth it is. So these three lip, lip products, these I cannot live without. I absolutely cannot live without these lip products. And I haven't had them for that long. Like that is what's so amazing to me. Okay, this I've had for a really long time, but I only started using it recently. But oh my God, these, these, oh my God. And this I saw on TikTok. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I just get so excited about these. I have a lot of things to cover too. But this is the LA Girl Hollow Glam Glitter. This was like a dollar, maybe three dollars. Super duper cheap but like not a cheap product by any means. I don't know if it, you can see it on camera, like how amazing it is, but this glitter, first off, it's holographic, it's so smooth and buttery, and it has that blue reflect, that blue reflect, reflect that is so amazing, and just like when you see it in person, you're just like, oh, clutch my pearls for a second, that's amazing. I put this glitter on top of all of my like shimmer looks now. Like I will get like an amazing shimmer in a palette and I'll put this glitter on top of it because I need the holographic. This glitter is amazing. It does have a little bit of fallout, but like I don't care. Get that glitter all over my face. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Get this. It's, it's so cheap. You need it in your pack. Okay, last but not least in the makeup is some, this is the reason why I made this video. This thing here. So this is the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. It comes in this great big little case. It's like a little ice cream truck and the palette goes right in here. I've kept this for this video. I've, I've kept it so I can film this video and this is taking up so much space in my makeup section, but I just needed it. And oh, it's so amazing. I love it so much. But this is the palette. 
I use this for literally all of my makeup looks right now. I'm really, really into pastels. So I've been like incorporating pastels into everything. I don't really wear makeup like when I go out, but like for filming and everything, I like do for Twitch. This palette has been a savior. And look at it. It has sprinkles that move around. It's so pretty. I've wanted this palette for so long and my mom finally got it for me. But look at all of these colors. There are amazing colors here. We got all our pastels. We got some shimmers. We got some more of our like our darker tones. But like these all play into ice cream. I like the names are like bubblegum, pistachio, cookie monster, mango, strawberry, cheesecake, cookie dough. And these are such amazing colors. If you've never tried a glam light palette, I definitely recommend starting off with this one because I've heard like some mixed reviews on other glam light palettes, but this one has always had really, really great reviews and it's really, really consistent. These are like kind of like pressed pigments. So like you don't want to like swirl around and swish, swish, swish. You want to stamp and then blend. I talk about this a little bit in my Mona makeup look, so if you want to go look at that, I do a little bit of talking about how to use these colors. But these colors I've used for, I think, nearly all of my makeup looks in the past couple of months. They're just so amazing, and these shimmers are so, so pigmented. You know like how sometimes you get a shimmer and you're like, it's patchy, and you like have to like press, 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 press? You don't need to do that. You just get that one on, you get it on, and it's all done. And you know how sometimes you can't use a brush to put shimmer stage on? I got so excited there, I stopped speaking. You know how sometimes you need to use a br you brush to put shimmer shades on, but when you put it on the brush, it like doesn't do anything? This is not that case. This, you put it on the brush and you're like, I got too much on this brush. I, I, that, that, this, this is crazy, there's too much on this brush. But that's what, this is how amazing this is. This is my most used palette. I think this is the first palette I may actually hit pan on. I love Glam Light so much. Okay. Okay, that, that was my crazy, crazy rant about makeup. I have a lot of makeup products, but like, this is like a video of things I use daily. I don't really use these daily. I use them like maybe three times a week. So, it's stuff I use very, very often. It's part of my regular routine, but it's not something I use daily. Next, I'm gonna go into stuff I use daily. Daily, daily. So, the first, this, is heaven sent. This is the Hada Labo Premium Jo, I don't know how to say it, but it's a hyaluronic acid formula. It has five different types of hyaluronic acid. It's the Premium Hydrating Lotion. I started off using the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid, those little ones that are like one ounce, and I've gone through like four of those in like a couple of months. And I was like, I'm so sick and tired of going to Sephora all the time because it keeps roping me into buying new products that I don't need, that I don't like. I just need something that's gonna last me a long time. So I was looking for like other hyaluronic acids that are like in bigger bottles, and everyone is selling hyaluronic acid in one ounce bottles. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I use hyaluronic acid in the morning, in the night. I need enough to slather on my skin, to take a bath in. And this answered my calls. Look at how much of this I've used. Oh wait, can you tell? Yeah, there you go, you can tell. You see that? I, I use this two times a day, maybe three times a day sometimes. This is the first thing I use when I get out of the shower, when I wash my face. This is the first step in all of my um, skincare routine now. It's the first step. It's, I, <laughs> it's amazing. And I understand why people rave about this all the time now. Because when I went to Japan, this was really, really popular. But I couldn't read the Japanese on the back. So I was really hesitant to get it. But then there was, um, I think a TikTok video or a YouTuber I saw who did a review on this and told me the difference between the different Hada Labo um, um, products. And I decided on this one. And this one is so amazing. I haven't done a skincare routine update in a while, but I used to have like cystic acne, like really deep acne. And once I got a control over that, I started using less products, like less harsh products. And this is one of the only products I use in the morning now. This has saved my skin from like active chemicals and it has repaired my skin barrier so well that really this is one of the only products I need in my routine anymore. I'll, I'll talk about this in my next step, but I have cut down my morning skincare routine to three products. 
I used to use like six products in the morning and because of this, I've cut it down to three products. That is how amazing this is. I know it's not gonna work for everyone's skin type. I have combination skin so I get dry patches and oily spots, but this is so absolutely amazing. If you are one of my friends that have ever recommended you to use a hyaluronic acid, I would definitely try this one. They have it at Don Quixote and you can get it off of Amazon as well. Just be careful off Amazon, you know. You know how it is, but this is so amazing, so amazing. Next is something new to my skincare routine. All of these are new, I don't know why I said that. This is the uh, COSRX Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. I've tried a couple of snail kind of products before, and I've like had mixed feelings about snail products. I don't know, it kind of makes me feel weird. I'm like, how, how are you sourcing these? Do you just like have a whole factory full of snails? <laughs> but this, I don't know. I don't know what it is about these new products I've been trying recently, but I've been having so many hits. So many more hits than misses. I don't even need like a whole glob of this. You know, I used to do like a finger full worth. Now I just dip my finger in it and it covers my whole face. This leaves me so freaking hydrated without making me oily. It is amazing. And this has like so many benefits to it. I didn't know how many benefits that snail mucin had, but it is, it's 92% snail secretion filtrate. It's the mucin. This has helped so much with my acne scarring because I had the cystic acne, I got a lot of acne scars because of it and my dermatologist recommended that I use azelaic acid but azelaic acid was really too strong for my skin, it left me burning but this has helped with my acne scarring and just any acne that's popped up so well. For like the first couple of weeks I was using this, I only used like what was on the little, uh, the cover, there's a there's like a little tin cover on it. I was just using that for my skin care routine. The only problem I have with this is that I don't feel like it's that hygienic. I don't like jar products that well. This product is amazing, but jar products just like give me the heebie-jeebies because I, I feel like I need to scrub my hands really well before I even touch it. And then if, if this came in like a jar, I know they have like um, an essence, but I like the moisturizer a lot. But if this came like in a, in a, in a bottle, I feel like that'd be a lot better for me. But this is amazing. It's lasted me so long. I've just, I've used this for like maybe three months and I've barely touched the surface of it. Amazing. Next are these Peach Slices Deep Blemish Microdots. So I mentioned that I get cystic acne and cystic acne sometimes is underneath the skin and it, like doesn't pop up for a really long time so I these have like the micro darts that like penetrate the skin at like a microscopic level or something and these help really well with my cystic acne it doesn't bring them to a head I have a uh, one right over here I think so I would put this on there and it wouldn't like make the white head but it would uh, ease like the pain of a cystic acne type of feeling and would like lower lower the lower the bump so it's not going to get everything out it's not like those hydrochloric patches where like you see all the gunk in them but it's going to ease the pain a lot and it's going to ease the appearance of cystic acne really really well they don't the only problem is they don't have like a whole bunch of them they're not too expensive but like i've used most of them already they're like this small, so they don't come in different sizes. They're all the same size. And the micro darts are only on like a small section of it, so like the whole thing isn't the micro darts. But these are great. I just keep them in this little tin so they're not in the sunlight. But this is the peach slices, by the way. Okay, two more things, two more things. We're almost done. This is another product I, I made this video for. So I think I talked about this a little bit. I don't know, this isn't really something I like to talk about, but I have really sensitive armpits. I know a lot of people have really sensitive armpits. I don't like aluminum. I don't like parabens. I don't like fragrance. And I don't like balm. The balm kind of like waxy, um, waxy uh, kind of deodorant. I've tried a whole bunch of natural deodorants and I found a really good one but it was a balm one and it left like the white all over my armpits and then it, they would be sticky. So it worked really great for odor control and not irritating my armpits, but it wasn't what I needed. So then I saw people talking about um, using um, AHA or BHA on your armpits. And I was like, that sounds amazing. 
but <laughs> I am an intense fear of using products that aren't meant for those areas in certain areas. Like if it's a face product, I'm not gonna use it on my body. I don't know what it is, but it just scares me. So I found an AHA that's made for the armpit and it is another Kosas product. It's the Kosas Sport. It's kind of hard to see because of my lights. It's the Kosas Sport Chemistry AHA Syrup Deodorant. And this is the fragrance free one. They have one that has like a kind of like spring scent, but this is the fragrance free one. I thought that would be better. So it doesn't smell like anything. And it's like a liquid roller ball. You just need to make sure you shake it up before you put it on. It takes a little bit to dry down, but honestly, I don't care. I don't care because this doesn't irritate my armpits at all. It got rid of all of my like um, ingrown hairs. It's gotten rid of my darkness. I didn't even have darkness really, but then like once I started using this, like, oh wow. Maybe I did have a little bit of darkness down there, up there, uh, down up. I don't know where that is, <laughs> but this is, this is amazing. And like, I thought I had really sensitive armpits. So I thought this isn't going to work for me. This is going to make me burn. It worked. It was so gentle. So amazing. Like when I got this, I was like, do you think this is going to hurt my armpits? And the lady was like, uh, I don't know. And I was like, okay, I'll just try it. <laughs> But it's amazing. I do get a little nervous that it's gonna like bleach my clothes So when I put it on I just kind of like stand there like this without any clothes on to make sure it dries before I put something on And I've never had a problem with like sweating and like it bleaching my clothes This isn't an antiperspirant. So if you're gonna try this don't expect it to stop you from sweating So you're still gonna sweat, but you're not gonna stink So I mean, I don't really actually I do sweat a lot, but I don't get like um stains so I don't really mind not having an antiperspirant. And if you want an antiperspirant, you kind of have to have aluminum in it. So it's like double-edged sword. So this is good for what it is. This is amazing for what it is. I love this. I use it so much. I don't actually, I can't tell how much of it I've used because it's an opaque bottle, which is probably good because it's a chemical acid. Chemical acid? I think. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's great. A bonus, smooth skin and visibly brightens. It's great. Try it if you're looking for something like that. Okay, next my battery is gonna die, so I'm trying to talk about this quickly. This is specific to my hand pain, but these are the BioFreeze uh, Cool the Pain One Large Patch. These are like large patches. They're like this size. I think this is folded in half actually, so I think they're a little bit bigger than this, but these are amazing. BioFreeze is like the best brand, honestly, for pain relief in my opinion especially for like my hand pain and my other pains I've had. BioFreeze is amazing. They have a whole bunch of like products like rollers, gel, cream. I like the gel, but sometimes it's like, I need to wait for this to dry and I need to do stuff or I need to put my brace on or I need to put clothes on and that's like a pain. These are amazing because it has the gel on one side, but then like a cloth on the other side. So like if you need to put it underneath your clothes, you don't have to worry about the gel getting on your clothes. And then like, it's like eight hour relief too. So like the gel and the cream isn't as long. So this lasts a whole bunch longer. So sometimes I'll put this underneath my braces and I just go about my day and that's like the best. It's honestly the best. This, if you have pain, like on your back, this is actually meant for your back, I think, but I use this on my wrists, even though I have tiny, tiny wrists, I just wrap it around the whole thing, on my shoulders, on my back, on my legs. I I got these because they were on sale on Target and they would give me a $5 gift card, but then I haven't stopped buying these since. <laughs> these are amazing. Oh, I have more things to talk about. I thought I was almost done. <laughs> this is... I don't think you would have expected it, like just regular lotion in this video, but this is the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion 24 Hour Moisture. It's a water activated formula and almond oil. So, because I said I've had sensitive skin, I have sensitive skin everywhere. But this, after the shower, like after you exfoliate, you know like when you get itchy and it's like super uncomfortable and you need to put lotion on really, really quickly? This you can put lotion on when your skin is still wet. And that just saved my life because I hated being itching after my shower. And I thought, oh, maybe it's my moisturizer or my, my body wash that's making me itchy. Am I allergic to it? And it's like, no, I just, my skin was just exfoliated. So now it's like all exposed and I need to moisturize and like contain the moisture back in there. So this is amazing. I've tried a whole bunch of like in the shower lotions and a lot of them have had parabens in it and I don't like parabens. 
I could go with a whole rant about parabens. But this is one that I found that doesn't have parabens. And there are like other like indie brands sort of like in the shower lotions, but like if you have an indie brand, recommend it to me because I get nervous about trying things <laughs> or like waiting for things to get shipped to me because like lotions, I feel like they're gonna melt in the mail coming towards me. So I like getting stuff that I can get like at Target or at CVS or something like that. So this has been great for that. And it comes in a pretty big bottle. So like just keep it in my shower. Good. I recommend in the shower lotions to everyone, especially if you have dry skin because that will really maintain the moisture from after a shower. <laughs> but yeah, those are, this is everything that's new in my routine that I absolutely love and I use every day or nearly every day. So I definitely recommend you guys trying any of these products. I'll have them all linked below. I would definitely recommend them if there are two things you have to try. I would try the Ice Cream Dream palette from Glamlight and this um, premium hydrating lotion from Hadalabo. So yeah, that's all for me. I hope you're healthy and safe and I'll see you next time. Bye, love you.